Hi Gemini, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your mid-month money and career tarot reading for the month of May 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. Do keep in mind this is general for the remainder of your month, so just take what resonates. But as well, thank you in advance for your love and support by liking, commenting, and of course subscribing to this growing channel if you haven't done so already. Definitely join this amazing Gemini tribe. But we're going to keep it simple by pulling from the Tattoo Tarot deck. But to book a personal reading with, uh, with myself, excuse me, just reach out via email. Everything you need is down below in the description box. I'll definitely get that started for you. Let's do some shuffling. You are manifesting a lot, my friend. Okay. You have the the touch, the, the wisdom, the, the expectations to uh, just transform your situation for the better. As I was drawn to this pentacle down here, okay, there's a lot of money on the horizon for you. And you're getting a taste of that in the second half of May. Okay, expect your ships to come in and your hard work to pay off. Wow, what a great beginning uh, for my lovely Geminis. Okay, we're taking this as well. You may be expecting a tower moment for one reason or another in your career. It could be a living situation. I mean, if there's a contract involved that has an ending, that makes sense. But I do feel as if you are being viewed as someone who's extremely strong. At times, put up some, uh, excuse me, uh, slips up or puts up a facade uh, because you're feeling uh, quite, okay, anxious or tired or just um, overwhelmed, having a lot going on. Definitely coming through as a lot to accomplish. Um, feeling like things are just a bit chaotic at times, but then quite balanced and peaceful at others. Remember the possibilities are truly endless for you at this time as again, you're manifesting left and right. And I do feel as if you're reminded with that tower moment per, per se, or whatever you desire to acquire at this time within your money, uh, financial investments potentially, or one big one, or your career, right? Maybe wanting a new job or a new side gig. You have a lot of options, my friend. Manifest that, okay? Because it feels like you just desire more income, more stability and that is yours for the taking okay um i really feel like at times you just have a passionate fresh start on the tip of your mind and again the fact that you can't get something out of your mind or do occasionally but for the most part thinking about it focusing on it as long as you're expecting the best right and putting in that necessary effort and realizing that you have endless possibilities and the options yeah it's gonna come to be I just heard watch me work watch me work you may just want to kind of show off a little bit but i feel as if there is this part of you that's uh, being very secretive not wanting people to know what you're up to or just what is in your back pocket um, what the next steps are for you feeling like you could potentially slip up or just uh, be pushed to second guess oneself your choices potentially due to other people's energy um, voicing their opinions maybe based on the past but i also feel like um you just okay we're gonna reverse these bear with me it just feels like you are knowing that you have a lot to balance out and choose from and accomplish and it's like i just feel like keeping it on the down low at this point or at least partially is most beneficial just strategic okay um with the knight of wands and the strength card being um touching base upon each other I truly feel as if you're moving with a level of passion, okay? People are seeing some, you as somebody who just isn't willing to give up or not willing to uh, part ways with a level of success that you feel you're destined for. Beautiful. Don't feel bad for turning your head to, turning your face to a opportunity that's not meant for you because you're manifesting a lot of choices, developments, options at this time. And so don't be surprised when a tempting option comes to be or something that reminds you too much of the past and therefore it rubs you the wrong way or something you intuitively or instinctively just expect not to intuitively expect, not instinctively, you intuitively expect it not to work in your favor or be as um, fruitful as something else that's more meant for you. Okay. I was just pushed to touch the microphone I have on. You're going to be pushed to speak up. Okay. To get your voice out there to get your opinion or your view on something um, to who it would benefit most from, 
Does that make sense? Whoever it's going to benefit most uh, getting your voice to, that's who you need to, to tell it to. It could be an authority figure. It could be um, a client. I feel like word of mouth is coming into play. Um, networking as well. A lot of emails, a lot of texting, phone calls, communication left and right. All the meanwhile, you could be hearing spirit to say the least. A new fresh start on the horizon, my friend, getting ready to give birth to something new. And all the meanwhile, I just feel like abundance is flowing in. You are going to find that people just see you as someone who is very abundant, okay? And you're like, yeah, it's kind of been a, a bit of a shit show at times or just have a lot going on. But I do feel as if you're viewed in a high honored kind of light. Own that, okay? Own it. With the Page of Cups in the Fool card, it's like you desire a fresh start, okay? And I feel like once again, there's just this uh, certain offers that come in, coming going back to the fact that she's facing away from something. Um, uh, he or she, you just are seeing certain offers as minuscule or just not enough for you. It's like you see oneself in such a highlight as well, potentially setting the tone and therefore people looking up to you or seeing you on a pedestal to an extent. But therefore you just, um, it's like, yeah, that's not enough. That's not going to do it. I'm going to keep my eyes on something bigger and better. Just manifest what I actually deserve, right? There's a valuable energy about you. You're setting the tone in that sense as well. Your worth is very um, easy to notice in the rest of May where people are just like, okay, all right, well, Gemini obviously wants more, deserves more. Um, there is a level of stress though, okay? It could be in the work environment, it could be at home, it could be both. It more so could just be in, within one's mind, right? Um, but I do feel like you need to let that either re-motivate or motivate you to, just, again, make a change, um, a replacement potentially, going back to that tower moment, or you could just feel as if um, there's a need to just breathe and take some specific, uh, even if it's not a lot, alone time to quiet one's mind and just implement some self-care, right? To produce the best quality work, to communicate um, effectively. Because I feel like there's just a lot of talking taking place. But again, a tempting option or two or three, uh, it's like the universe is testing you to see if you've learned from your past. Even if you don't fully see the way on the way, I feel like you're moving with the night, okay? Um, let's keep pulling. Your world's changing, Gemini, and it's a beautiful thing. And I feel as if you recognize that as you could be speaking quite quickly, as again, a lot of communication and things moving quite rapidly for you, as there's true levels of fulfillment on the horizon for you. And you're very much representing this night, nine of pentacles energy, where you're reaching for your independence and showing people how it's done and setting the tone for what you truly desire. Okay. Certain energies might affect you in certain ways throughout the second half of May, but I really feel as if you're going places and taking steps in the right direction at this point. Um, and uh, it just feels like you're improving your life for the better. A golden door of opportunity, okay, is on the horizon. It feels like it may not be in the second half of this month, but it's like you're being pushed to recognize what's not meant for you and to manifest this door opening so you can get to where you need to go, okay? Uh, they're saying it's better on the other side. <sighs> As I take a deep breath, you should do the same with the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Swords, learning more about how things are transforming, doing a lot of research, um, informing oneself of how the wheels are meant to turn for you moving forward. Uh, I feel like you could be doing a level of reading, um, researching online once again. Um, do recognize who and what makes you feel more motivated and less motivated, okay? It feels like more than one wheel is churning for you at this time as the motherly instincts might kick in at certain points, even if you're a male, where you want to take care of people or help people. But it feels like you are your number one priority at this time, okay? Do recognize that this leap of faith moving forward is going to be so uh, beneficial for you. It feels very tied into that golden door of opportunity as your world changes for the better and you communicate left and right um, towards a true level of victory. Let's pull a couple more. I'm hearing things will feel better than they once did, okay? Um, desiring completion, all right? 
Do recognize when you feel a bit frantic at times, but you're being viewed as one wise soul who has the wisdom and the knowledge to transform their life uh, for the better moving forward and to make the best out of certain opportunities that are meant for you and only you. And when you feel the inclination to think about the past, don't. Don't compare, don't mull over it too much because I feel as if your forward vision is where it's at at this point and it's keeping you moving towards bigger and better, okay? As you plan, develop, and create towards a true, uh, true new levels, excuse me, of fulfillment and happiness for oneself. So those new financial investments are one big one uh, and or a new job is meant for you and only you. So keep your eye on the prize, all right? So I hope this was truly helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Go have yourself an amazing rest of the month, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Gemini.